What's up, y'all? Welcome to Exquisite Glam. Welcome to another makeup tutorial. I know it's been a while. Please excuse my absence. A lot has been going on. But let's get into this look. So, I call this look Gemstone on the Skin Tone. It was just a weird thing that I came up with and it sounded good so I just went with it so of course we start off with my eyebrows I have done that pre-recorded it takes me a while to do my eyebrows and then I go in with my NYX milk pen I just use it as a base primer for my eyes and my hyperpigmentation under my eyes and then I went in with this doom palette that one of my friends gave me and I fell in love with purple and I just wanted to do like a nice cute little butterfly kind of cut crease kind of look. And as you see, I'm just starting off by doing the upper lid. And I'm trying to create this like cat eye. And then I just go in, make sure that I have like the nice precision. I'm doing very neat about it. Don't worry if you make a mistake, guys. You can always go over it. Just put a little concealer or you can use Vaseline and a makeup wipe to erase and then go back and try to do it again. Remember, makeup is art. Your face is your canvas and you're the artist. So it's going to come out the way you want it to. You might have a few hiccups here and there, but you can always go over it and fix it. Makeup is not meant to be perfect. There's no right way to do makeup. There's no right technique to apply makeup. It's all on how you do it and how you want it to come out. So here you see me blending in some more. I went in with a little darker purple and I'm adding it to the ends to give it a more catty effect. Um, I believe this palette came in a BoxyCharm um, subscription. I have to ask my friend where she got it from. But here you see me going in again with my NYX milk pen and I'm just further concealing my inner lids because I'm going to go in with a brighter color and I'm also shaping my eyes at the same time because I really want to go for a caddy effect so I applied the magenta eyeshadow closer to the ends and I'm blending that in as well and then I go into my inner corners and I applied this glittery pink it was a real soft pink. It was like a pretty pink. And um, I used the NYX Milk Pen to bring out the pigmentation. And you can see me blend that in here as well. is where I apply a soft pink in between the magenta and the light glittery pink just to give it a nice ombre effect and then you'll see me blend it in to give it a more effort effortless look Okay guys, pro tip, always blend. Blend, 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 blend. That is the secret to making your makeup look flawless and effortless. Now here I'm applying lash glue and I'm also using loose glitter with a silicone brush to apply the glitter. Now that's a little secret that I've been using for a couple years now when I wanna apply um, loose glitter to my looks I use lash glue lash glue is very light 
it keeps the loose glitter in place on your eyeshadow and also when it's time to remove it's easy to remove once you wash your face it comes off with water and it doesn't really spread too much you know to the point where it's irritating your eyes so that's a little pro tip for you guys Okay, here's where things get a little bit tricky because now I'm trying to figure out how I want to apply my eyeliner and I'm using a liquid eyeliner pen from Tarte that was also a gift from one of my friends um, I'm just doing a basic cat eye and then I'm going to do a line over the lid just to trail out the um, where I'm going to place my rhinestones so I do this on both eyes and this is how I apply it Okay guys, rhinestones can be very tedious, especially if this is your first time doing a rhinestone kind of look. So you want to do small rhinestones depending on what kind of look you're going to do. And again, I use lash glue in order to apply the rhinestones. I just prefer to use lash glue again because it's lighter, it keeps, it, keeps the makeup in place, it doesn't move, and it's easy for removal. That's just my choice. So I place the rhinestones in the crease. Again, I'm trying to go for a butterfly effect as well as a cute cut crease. So you'll see me apply it in the creases and then I also apply it on my eyeliner lash line to give it a more dramatic effect. So here is just glue, rhinestone, repeat. Glue, rhinestone, repeat. Yes, makeup is very tedious and sometimes it does take it does take a while to achieve the effect that you want. And as a makeup artist or freelance makeup artist or even just someone who's dabbling in makeup, certain looks that we can mash up in a video into 12, maybe 5, sometimes 3 minutes takes us maybe hours to complete. So this is the look guys. Thank <laughs> you.